Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor. You know, we spend about one third of our lives sleeping. It's a universal need that's critical for our well being, but even now, scientists can't pinpoint its exact purpose. They're still making new discoveries about how sleep works and what our brains and bodies gain from it. However, there's a general consensus that not all sleep is created equal. In fact, there are four distinct stages of sleep, each with its own functions and characteristics. Today, I want to take a closer look at the fourth and final stage of sleep called rapid eye movement, or REM for short. It looks quite a bit different from the rest and comes with its own special benefits. But first, let's take a minute and dig into what sleep really is. Scientists used to think that sleep was a state in which the body completely shut down. But over time, researchers have learned that while some body functions do run slower when you sleep, others remain active. Sleep restores cellular damage, repairs tissues, fights infections, and promotes brain function. But it doesn't happen all at once. Your body tackles that important work in stages. The first three are considered non-REM sleep. The first non-REM stage is actually fairly short. Here, your breathing and heart beat slow and your body temperature drops. The second stage more or less intensifies the first as your body's core functions continue to hit the brakes. Stage two is considered light sleep and occupies the largest percentage of total nightly sleep. Next up is the third stage, also called slow wave sleep. That's when your deepest sleep happens and when many restorative functions take place. Now the fourth stage, REM sleep, looks very different from the others. The first period of REM sleep usually starts about 90 minutes after a person falls asleep and lasts for around three to five minutes. REM sleep increases in length with every sleep cycle, with the longest, most impactful stretches of REM sleep taking place closer to the morning. A few key characteristics distinguish REM from non-REM sleep. First, brain activity during REM sleep is similar to that when we see a person who is awake. Second, dreams are more likely to occur during REM sleep and may be longer and more vivid. Sleepers also experience elevated vital signs during REM sleep, including elevated heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing all become faster and more irregular. What's more, when in REM, your body becomes temporarily paralyzed with only occasional muscle twitches. Scientists believe that this condition called atonia is your body's way of keeping you from acting out your dreams. So why is REM sleep so important? Well, studies suggest that this stage contributes to three important cognitive functions. Number one, REM sleep may help in forming memories and acquiring knowledge. It's likely that this is the stage when memories are organized and consolidated. Number two, this organization also happens with our emotions. REM sleep allows the brain to process emotion and plays a part in your overall mental health. And number three, REM sleep is important for brain development. Infants spend up to 50% of their sleep in this stage and in adulthood, REM sleep lasts longer after periods of learning. Now that you know how essential REM sleep is to your well-being, you might be wondering, how do I get more of it? The best way to get more REM sleep is to concentrate on getting enough sleep in general. As I mentioned, the longest periods of REM seem to happen towards the end of the night. That means you want to be aiming for the seven to nine hours of sleep that's ideal for most adults. Plus, not only do you want to get enough sleep, you're going to want to maximize your sleep quality. You can make that happen by practicing good sleep hygiene. Work on sleep promoting habits like spending time outside during the day and getting adequate exercise, avoid blue light emitting devices before bed, and do something relaxing prior to drifting off. You'll also want to keep your room dark, quiet, and cool, and as it gets closer to bedtime, consider avoid alcohol and recreational drugs as well as caffeine. All of these can impact your sleep and reduce the amount of time that you spend in REM. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.